Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we welcome the City of Hialeah Police Cadets Post 589 for the presentation of colors, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we retire the colors. Order. On. Ready. Face. Forward. Hello, Cohia class of 2020. I know that today we are not meeting under ordinary circumstances, but that is because every single one of you are extraordinary and you are going to achieve things that you never thought were possible. And so before I pray today, I'd like to bless you the same way that the sages of old used to bless their people in a passage that's found in the book of Numbers chapter six. And it reads like this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And that is my blessing to you today. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you because you are good even when we don't understand why things happen in our lives. I pray for this graduating class. Lord, I pray that they would achieve things that they never thought were possible. I pray for success. I pray that you would bless them financially, that you would open doors, God, in their life, and that you would prepare them to pave the way for generations to come. Give them confidence. Give them peace. Give them understanding and favor in front of every single person that they will ever stand before for the rest of their lives. We pray for the faculty of Cohia. We pray for the administration. And we thank you for all the love and care that has gone in to producing today's graduation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Good evening, parents, students, teachers, and community leaders. Welcome to our virtual graduation celebration. The best way I can describe the class of 2020 and the word that sticks out to me is resilient. Resilient because you transitioned from distance, remote learning from one week to another. Resilient because you survived the global pandemic. 
resilient because you've bonded and supported each other throughout all these years. Resilient because you are all and continue to be critical thinkers and advocate for what you strongly believe in. You're resilient student athletes, resilient academic achievers, resilient because there's a group of 12 students that are graduating with their associate in arts degree from Miami-Dade College or Doral College. Our school has continued to be successful. Once again, we are one of US News and World Report's best high schools in America. And the reason we're one of the most successful schools in America is because we never give up. We continue striving for more. You inspire us. Just this past year, we were recognized as a Cognia STEM certified school nationally. We became a leader in me school, encouraging and empowering students to be destined to be the leaders that they are, not only in our school, but tomorrow. 98%, 98% of our students either graduate with an industry certification, passing an advanced placement course and test, and passing a dual enrollment course. We credential our teachers to become professors through the colleges. We add additional industry certifications throughout our academies. We started a partnership with Barry University to bring the EMT program to our fire program our supplemental tutoring programs, our math and reading intervention to serve our most needy students, our small group instruction, our social media campaigns and our marketing strategies to reach out to the community and to neighboring communities. And yes, the creation of our very own network, Civica, which God willing will be opening its doors in August 2021 in both Colorado and Nevada. And the list goes on. I truly believe that you lead by example. And the example that we, Koihia, have set forth in our entire school is unparalleled to anything else. Class of 2020, I will leave you with this. Every time you were convinced you could not do it, you did it. Grit is that extra something that separates the most successful people from the rest. It's the passion that you guys have. It's your perseverance. How have you failed, you got back up and you kept going. That stamina that you needed and how you channeled all that energy within your dreams, within your passions to make your success a reality. And here you are today, virtually with us. What I love most about you guys is your humor, your laughs, the relationships we've built, the good morning, sir, whether it was the morning or it was the afternoon, the honor, the respect, the loyalty that we have to one another, your belief in yourself, and the honor of allowing us to play a role in your life for these past seven years. Remember, this will never, ever be goodbye. This will always be, I'll see you later. And remember, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We love you all. Halley Educational Academy, class of 2020. I wanna take this time to congratulate you on your graduation. You guys have made us proud, and we know in the future, you continue to make us proud. Go Bulldogs, and congratulations again to the class of 2020. Good evening, graduates and parents, and welcome to the first Cohia virtual graduation. I'm Senator Manny Diaz Jr. from Senate District 36, and I just want to congratulate you on your accomplishments. I know it's strange times, and uh, we're doing a virtual graduation and seeing instead of being in person and we can't have uh, all the hugs and all the handshakes and all of that, but you are at least at home with your families where you can enjoy your accomplishments and down the line, hopefully we'll be able to celebrate more in a personal matter. But I wanna congratulate all of your achievements for the class of 2020 
um, not just marked by this period of time where we've been with the coronavirus and we've been um, self-isolated, but by the, the whole entire time that you spent at this school. And you are the pride of Hialeah. And I want to congratulate you and your parents. Felicidades a todos los padres y a los graduados hoy. Eh, aunque estemos en un tiempo un poco extraño, queremos celebrar lo que, lo que hay, los logros de su hijo o hija y los estudiantes aquí en Hialeah Educational Academy. Así que le quiero eh, mandar eh, las felicitaciones desde aquí y el año que viene posiblemente nos podemos ver en persona. Gracias. Thank you. Class of 2020, I was told that my speech could only be three minutes long. As I sat down to write this, I wondered how I would be able to express how much you all meant to me. So I will do my best. I have seen so many of you grow up right before my very eyes and had the privilege to watch you become such amazing human beings. Often the reputation of the class of 2020 was questionable at best. I'd like to think that you were just misunderstood. Your passion for life, your camaraderie, your dedication to your goals, and your willingness to have a sense of humor are what I see. I see a group of students that made me become a better teacher. I remember teaching some of you in sixth grade, others in ninth and 10th grade. It was because of you that I became a better teacher, and I hope that I, through all the yelling and homework and reading, have left something positive in you. Some of the best moments that I have are because of you, and admittedly, some of the worst. From our laughter together in class, acting out various plays, and working on assignments together, through the various forms of corrective discipline that your once sore arms felt, every day felt like a new adventure, and whether I liked it or not, I was along for the ride. Through it all, I saw a class that did not let anything get in their way. Mountains will fear you as you aim to move them. Ceilings will be shattered as you look up toward your next goal. Let it be known that the class of 2020 holds the very future in their hands, and they will grasp it with a determination that will make others admire in awe. It is a shame that our graduation had to be like this because I would have wanted nothing more than to shake your hand, not just as your sponsor, but as a fellow adult. I would have loved to have seen you up on the stage and get the spotlight you deserve because you earned it. One day we can make it happen. One day we will get together and look back and shake our heads at how crazy the world used to be. I will miss you. I will miss you dearly. I will miss the sassiness and the chaos and the heart and soul that you brought to this school. But this isn't goodbye. No, I'm sure down the road, one way or another, our paths will cross again. With that said, congratulations. This is your moment. I love you all. I want to take this opportunity to thank Principal Alvarez for his invitation this evening, not only to recognize the outstanding students of the City of Hialeah Educational Academy, but also five students who today earned their associate's degree from Doral College. To say that we are living in a world that is unprecedented would be the understatement of all time. The last two months have seen handshakes replaced by fist bumps, smiles replaced by face masks, school replaced by Zoom, and the beach replaced by slip and slides. Though the changes have been tough on all of you and your families, you have held true to your belief that nothing would stop you from fulfilling your dreams and your aspirations. It is my honor to recognize the following students. Nicole Almeida, Liz Baserio, Michael Alexander Chirinos, George Hernandez, and Daniela Martinez. By the power vested in me by the Doral College Board of Trustees and with the admiration of the entire faculty and staff of Doral College, I confer onto each of you the Associates of Arts degree and all of its privileges. May God bless each one of you on your journey ahead and may you continue to work hard and succeed at absolutely everything you do. Thank you. Hello Bulldogs, class of 2020. I wanna congratulate you on this momentous occasion. My name is Tony Cruz and I'm the campus president here at the Miami-Dade College Hylia campus. And this is really a special time of year. I know that this is my, one of my favorite times of year because I see students walk across the, the stage and get their diplomas. This year, it's a little bit different, but nonetheless, we need to celebrate your achievements. I know you've taken a lot of time out of your day and your weekends, hard studying, really putting a lot of effort in, and now it's paid off. Now you're graduates, not just graduates of high school, but also graduates with your Associates of Arts degree from Miami-Dade College. So I wanna wish you the best on your journey, and just remember to always be lifelong learners, because learning is something we do throughout our lifetime. Again, congratulations and best wishes. I just wanted to give a big shout out to the seven students who are graduating from Cohia this year, as well as from Miami-Dade College with their Associates of Arts degree. 
Congratulations to the following seven students. Samantha Bruna, Shirley Chen, Frank Ruiz, Gwendolyn Justo, Ilianet Guerra, Christopher Alfonso, and Elisa Herrera. Congratulations to all of you for this tremendous achievement. This is the class of 2020. Shirley Chen, Summa Cum Laude, Christopher Alfonso, Summa Cum Laude, Elianet Guerra, Summa Cum Laude, Samantha Bruna, Summa Cum Laude, Alyssa Herrera, summa cum laude. Frank Ruiz, summa cum laude. George Hernandez, summa cum laude. Nicole Almeida, summa cum laude. Michael Chirinos, Summa cum laude. Daniela Martinez, summa cum laude. Liz Basedo, summa cum laude. Gwendolyn Justo, summa cum laude. Daniela Alfonso, magna cum laude. Giselle Pinares, magna cum laude. Catherine Cardoso, magna cum laude. Nicole Alvarez, magna cum laude. Maria Rivadeneira, magna cum laude. Danai Pendas, Magna Cum Laude. Paula Tenemasa, Cum Laude. Darlene Ejea, Cum Laude. Alessandro Bolaños, Cum Laude. Stephanie Jimenez, Cum Laude. Ashley Artse, cum laude. Isabel Gonzalez, cum laude. Barbara Ray, cum laude. Brianna Quintela, cum laude. Chanel Cruz, Cum laude. Jessica Ribeiro, Cum laude. Felix Salazar, Cum laude. Jessica Romero, Cum laude. Sasha De Rutia, cum laude. Mark Anthony Oliveira, cum laude. Manny Aleman, cum laude. Naisa Oliva, cum laude. Karen Alfonso. Anthony Alonso. Denise Alvarez. George Angel. Daniel 
Arcera. Justin Barreiro. Claudia Batista. Marco Borges. Kevin Bolaños. Ian Bonet. Giannis Castellano. Stephanie Chi. Brian Clavelo. Chiara Compagnoni. Milagros de la Bat. Emilio del Toro. Anthony de Rutia. John Paul DeWint. Dianelis Diaz. Frank Diaz. Emily Fernandez Lenz. Roberto Figueroa. Joshua Flores. Sebastian Flores. Eleni Fuentes. Christian Galaviz. Andy Garcia. Adrian Garcia. O'Neill Garcia. Chanel Gonzalez. Daniela Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez. Diego Granada. Rafael Green. Jonathan Hernandez. Josue Hernandez. Chabeli Hernandez. Jason Herrera. Harrell Ibanez. Adair Lara. Liz Leal. Brian Ledesma. Le Manuel Lemus. Jordani Leiva. Sofia Marin. Jennifer Marrero. Noah Marrero. Talia Mederos. Victor Milera. 
Isabela Miranda. Jennifer Mole. Dayron Moinedo. Marialis Morales. Darío Morlote. Alexa Muriel. Adrian Nieves. Yanier Olazabal. Frank Organvides. Ronald Organvides. David Ortiz. Danny Oval Melanie Paez Ruiz Grisel Peña Naivil Perez Yannibert Perez Andro Perez Yaibel Perez Nicole Peace Marlon Pui Christopher Quesada Armani Ramos Julian Reyes Alexis Rivas Viviana Riquenes Bismarck Rodriguez Giovanni Rodriguez Isaiah Rodriguez Joseph Rodriguez Angel Rodriguez Nikki Rodriguez Lorena Rodriguez Mildred Rodriguez Dagoberto Romero Samantha Ruiz Adrian Salas Ibrahim Siddiqui Eric Silva Carlos Vasquez Christian Vega Diego Vega Eddie Vignat Class of 2020, are you ready? By virtue of the power vested in me by the Florida Department of Education and the Miami-Dade County School Board, as the principal of COHIA, 
I now pronounce the class of 2020 high school graduates. You may now turn your tassel. Seniors, congratulations on your upcoming graduation. While this last quarter may not be quite what you envisioned, do not let it detract from your joy. We are all so very proud of you. Congratulations. Hey seniors, congratulations, you did it. Um, kudos to you for persevering through a really challenging year. You know, you should be proud of yourselves for overcoming a lot of adversity and proving to yourselves that you can do it. Um, we're really excited for you. We wish you well. Uh, in the future and we're here for you whenever forever so don't be a stranger good luck and go bulldogs what's up guys um just want to let you know i hope you guys really had an amazing year for the most part obviously we know what happened um i want to wish you guys the best truthfully truthfully gonna miss you guys um i can't wait to see what you guys do and um that's pretty much it have an amazing rest of the year, summer, and I'll see you soon. Class of 2020, you did it. I know it took hard work to accomplish this goal, but I never doubted any of you. Now you're ready to take on the world. Always remember, there is no limits to what you can achieve. So go out there and make me proud. You will always have a home to come to, and I will always be here for all of you. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. I love you, my Bulldogs. Good luck. Senior class of 2020, congratulations. On behalf of the City of Hialeah Firefighters and your instructors here at FS7, we wanna wish you the best of luck. I'm sure you had a lot of memories coming through these doors over the years. So God bless all of you, and I hope you all stay safe, and we look to see you soon. Congratulations, class of 2020, good luck. What's up, class of 2020? First and foremost, I want to congratulate you guys for getting this far in life. This is a great feat. I know that times are tough right now and it might suck a little bit, but don't worry about it. Things are going to eventually get better. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are the best. Seniors, I know it's been a tough journey this year, but I just want to say that I'm very proud of all of you for accomplishing this incredible task of surviving you know, from kindergarten to 12th grade, all these years of school and getting it done. I hope to see you all soon. Be safe. Uh, you know, stay away from other people for a while, and keep your hopes up. You know, things are gonna get better. All right, everyone. Love you all very much. I want to congratulate all the seniors of 2020, but I would like to send a special greeting to my former Palm Lakes third graders, class of 2011. I was so happy last year when I joined Cohia and I reunited with you and all the fond memories that we had in class. I was proud of you then and I am extremely proud of you now. May God bless you all. Hello, hello to all of my seniors and students. This has been a great opportunity for me to express how happy I am to have met you. All of you guys know that you have been my happiness and also my concern in this school. But no matter this, I want to wish you the greatest successes, no matter what life or what path you decide to. Hi, class of 2020. It's me, Sergeant Fernandez, and I want to wish all of you uh, a happy graduation. Uh, congratulations from us and from my, my post 589. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. And for my daughter, Nikki Rodriguez, mom, dad, and your sister, very, very proud of you. Class of 2020, I thought it would be appropriate to come back and go be at the building where it all started seven years ago when I was new to Cohia and so were you. Both of us together, we have grown to become the loyal Bulldogs we are today. In sixth grade, you were my original baby and I am so proud of all your accomplishments and what's to come in all of your future. Class of 2020, it's been weird, but we made it. What do you do from here? Take advantage, don't look back. And if you do, let it be to remember the good times, to look upon the good times and not to move in that direction. Everything you've done now, even these last two months, is here to prepare you for what's coming. I know you guys are gonna do great. I've been here, I've seen you for two years only, but I've seen a lot 
in two years that I haven't seen in people that I've known my whole life. So it's time to put away what might have been and time to set forth what will be. That's your choice, only your choice. We hope we've done the best. I really miss you guys and wish it could have been a little bit different. I will be there when all this is over, or we will be there when all this is over to give ourselves legitimate hugs and celebrate because we will. I love you guys so much. My office is always open for whenever you guys want to come by to refresh, learn a memory, or just to say hello. I love you guys. Peace.